hi good morning beautiful people welcome back again to my channel so today's video we're going to talk about another topic which is very interesting before that please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification down below so the topic that we are going to discuss today is, is it true that filipinas are mostly attracted to foreigners let's find out so for me the number one is the lighter skin color so as you can see uh, we are filipinos we have a naturally brown tan skin so we don't need to go out to the sun and because we are naturally born with the tan skin uh, actually i am very brown and i'm not white actually uh, this is probably because of the lightning of my phone i knew someone who uh, got married with a Caucasian or somewhere in the US, I, I forgot. He got married with a Filipina and the combination of the baby was so stunning. I, it's like beautiful combination. This color of the skin, you know, the face of the Filipina. So let's go ahead and move on to the number two topic, which is more aquiline or aquiline nose. As you can see guys, in the Philippines, uh, we are actually having some flat nose, just like this nose. And um, some of the Filipinos actually don't have the aquiline or the, how do you say, the pointed nose. So my husband actually have very beautiful nose. And sometimes he probably annoys when I, when I bite it or kiss it too much because I like it so much how like that nose for me is how do you feel when you have a very pointed nose <laughs> i try to do like that my husband you see i i can breathe good but i will not going to do any surgery for my nose because i love my nose the way it is and accept whatever i have in my body or whatever god gave me here in the philippines if we saw a person who has very aquiline nose or pointed nose we are like oh my god he is so handsome she is so beautiful because my basis for me in my opinion my basis if you are beautiful uh, physical i mean the face is beautiful if you have Aquiline nose. All we know speaking of foreign people, either black or white people, when we saw that they have equiline nose or pointed nose, blue eyes, brown eyes, green eyes. Guys, Filipinas are dying for that kind of beauty. Maybe, maybe not all Filipinas, but some of Filipinas are dying. And we are like, when we see that kind of beauty, we are stunned. As a Filipina, it's like our dream to have. If we have kids in the future, we want to have pointed nose for our kids, children. I don't know if only me, but that's what I have. That's what I dream actually if I have a baby one day in Gansuga. So, <laughs> it sounds funny, but that's my number two list. Foreign men is attractive for me. As a Filipina, because of that particular reason, they have Pogi! Stop! They have aquiline nose or pointed nose. Let's move on to the number three topic, which is um, since we're talking about the nose, of course, we're gonna put the details on the eyes as well. As you can see, guys, I have a beautiful, small, like almond shaped eyes, and um, for me, another reason is because of their hazel brown, blue eyes, or green eyes. Every time I saw my husband's eyes, because it's so beautiful, hazel brown. And also one time, my husband was lying down here with in my uh, legs, was lying down. And then he was like, what the heck are you doing? Why are you looking into my eyes? And then I was like, babe, hold on, because I'm counting. How do you say that? This is like the circle of his eyes. I'm counting the line inside of his cornea, the brown thing. And then my husband was, oh my God, you're crazy. <laughs> you cannot count that one because it's plenty. You cannot count the lines. And I was like, wow, your eyes is actually very brown. I have actually black, pure black eyes. If you can see that one, I don't know if you can see it, but I have very black eyes. 
every time I saw a foreigner with blue and green brown eyes it was like for me it was he or she is very stunning it was like for me it is so beautiful and stunning so they are very attractive for me if i saw a beautiful woman on the streets foreigner woman on the street i don't say anything but i just like staring to her face it prob she probably think i'm crazy all right so we finished already third topic so let's go ahead and move on to number four topic we have which is naturally brown hair so as you can see guys i have um very very thin hair and brown i like my hair too if i saw that in a person especially with foreigners they have like very light and then brown naturally hair for me i wanted to can I touch it? Since my husband doesn't have a hair, actually, my husband is not bald, but he wanted to get rid of the hair because he said it is so light. He feels so light and it's not so heavy in his head. So, and also the weather here in the Philippines is so hot, so he wanted to get rid of the hair. But anyway, it amazed me. It's so beautiful and like it's stunning for me. So, that's actually my number four in the list so let's go ahead and move on to the last topic we have of course the height as you can see here in the philippines most of the filipinos actually are petite in terms of height if you guys probably saw on my video my husband sometimes uh said to me oh no you're not 411 you are 47 it was like making fun of me but it's okay because husband's actually five foot and seven seven inches if i'm not mistaken yes um he is five seven five eight i think and if i saw a tall person either a filipino or um foreigner it amazed me as well because it's so beautiful and my actually my family my mom and my dad they are tall my mom is like five four my father is five seven the same as my husband's height but anyway i'm happy with my height they said small but terrible so even though i'm small i'm so happy with my height that is the reason i am attracted to tall guys actually i have a story to tell you guys in regards with this one since i'm very small and every time we go to the cities me and my husband sometimes um, we don't bring our car we just do or ride in the bus and do the commute and sometimes the conductor or the how do you say that in english the conductor of the bus asked me oh uh, do you have your id with you because he thought I was a student or I was still in college or maybe high school because I'm so petite and then I was like laughing no I'm already regular passenger so my husband's laughed at me oh here we go you should have your ID with you this way we have we have some discount oh my god every time also I, I rode in a jeepney the same thing happened so it makes me you know happy because they thought i am still uh, a teenager or maybe a student and that's also a compliment because it makes me younger even though i'm already 30s so that's pretty much for today so thank you so much guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and if you like this video please give me a big thumbs up and then hit that bell notification down below and then of course if you haven't subscribed to my videos please go ahead and subscribe thank you so much for watching